वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम मॉम सोन इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई मेक ब्लॉग्स एंड यू नो जस्ट माई लाइफ कॉन्टेंट आई टॉक अबाउट द थिंग्स दर आई रियली लव एज एन बुक्स सीरीज और मूवीज दर आई वॉच की ड्रामाज दर आई वॉच आई डू पेंट आई सेम इट्स जस्ट यू नो मिक्स वेज एवरी थिंग एंड एनी थिंग ऑन दिस चैनल इट्स जस्ट ऑल अबाउट मी एंड माई पर्सनल ग्रोथ इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड प्लीज कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग so this vlog coming to this vlog we are going to do a reading vlog which is mystery reading vlog i'm going to read two mystery books and just you know have discussion about just, you know have a good time so the first book that i'm reading is a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson this is a debut novel and it's a best seller really really super hype book on bookstagram booktok booktube everywhere everybody is talking about this book under now like it was released in 2019 i guess it's a series okay first book of a series really really hyped up bbc has released the news that they are going to make a series on this book so obviously i have to read it i'm a little bit skeptical because i have read truly devious which was super duper hyped up on booktube and bookstagram as well if you ever have been watching my vlogs you know that i was pretty much disappointed by that book but that's why i'm skeptical because this book is hyped up like that so talking about what it is about like it's a cold case murder it's not exactly really cool like just 5 years and there's been a girl that has been murdered and the suspect is her boyfriend but a girl in her senior year in present isn't really convinced that the uh, boyfriend is the actual murderer she does not believe that some anomalies some inconsistencies in the facts and the evidences that's why she thinks that um, a wrong person has been accused of a murder so she takes up this topic as her final years project like they have to submit a project about any topic and she chose this topic this murder that happened in their small a uh, calm town and has engulfed the whole town it's in its dark aura so she is going to look for answers and obviously she is in danger so i'm super, like i love cold cases i love cold cases i have affinity towards them that's why i'm really interested and yeah this book the next book that i'm reading is called uh, nan shall sleep uh, basic plot is uh, there are two people uh, two teenagers who somehow escaped from a serial killers okay one girl emma and travis these two people escaped from a serial killers like different serial killers different time everything is different but that's the only thing that they have in common and now fbi wants to recruit both of them to you know help them study the mindset of juvenile serial killers because these two survived those killers who have really high kill number and they they are really meticulous but these two people still survive from the different killers so that's why fbi wants to recruit them and like help them study the psychology and the mindset and whatever is going on in their of a juvenile killer because a juvenile killer means he's certainly not of age and has started killing um but those kind of uh, killers do not really open up to officers cuz like they're adults so differences and all of that. FBI is seeking help and they recruit them but there's a new killer who gets to know this and he has Emma on his target he loves to kill young women and now when emma has finally agreed to help fbi get those killers one more killer on large that has emma on its radar so i'm super super interested of course this is amazing i read i started reading it um i've read like two chapters and uh, i am loving it the thing is i love when uh, the story actually starts from where it matters this whole uh, you know reaching point i hate it they start from somewhere and you are in the middle of the book and then that starts when the book actually starts i hate it i just don't want to waste my 100 pages on something that i don't care about start from the beginning okay especially when it's a killer and mystery and thriller book 
so that's what that book did and i'm i'm interested both of these both of this book that did that let's have a good time wish me luck Let me show you the most amazing thing about this book and that is this whole book is in the form of investigation how the investigation runs so this girl is investigating a case for her senior year project final project and this is the project qualification paper where she has she is explaining what she is working on and this is the acceptance letter that okay we are letting you work on it so it's her sign as you can see and then this runs in like this like a normal chapter and then we have her production log which means that she is recording all of her thought process investigation everything in this log and what about the cases and also given websites to fact check i don't know if these websites are legit or not because it's fiction so i think i would assume that they are not legit and let me see and there's like transcript because she is also recording interviews then she produces transcript for the interviews as well transcript is basically writing down the interview word by word this is how it works this is the facebook post chat like in you know comments as i said text messages as well we get to see text messages and i think there was a map this is the map this is basically sh um, our tiny little investigator is making a map where the possible victim and the possible murderer were on those nights. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun reading this book and I enjoy the kind of books which has been written in a lots of formats such as like letter writing, diary entry and you know Facebook post, chats, call recordings. So this is one of that book. the end of the video where i'm going to tell you if i liked the books that we had decided for this mystery reading vlog so primarily we had uh, two books a good girl's guide to murder and i was reading uh, none shall sleep on my ebook like on my phone but between uh, filming those shots while I was reading and filming this particular clip where I'm talking about these books, there had been a certain amount of time. So in that time, I also ended up reading um, 
the second book of the good girl's guide murder sequel which is good girl bad blood i'm also done reading this so we have three books to talk about like so let's talk about this book the first book i have told you the premise of it but anyway i'll tell you a little bit again this is basically a girl called pip and she is uh, doing a project for her senior year and and she, and she has selected a local murder case of her own like town for her project where a girl called andy bell had been murdered when she was 17 years old 5 years ago by allegedly by her boyfriend and that allegedly is not allegedly anymore because like people strongly believe that he was the one who murdered her, Sal Singh. But our uh, protagonist doesn't believe so. She remembers Sal Singh differently. She has a gut feeling that this person cannot murder someone. So she is going to reinvestigate and take this thing as her project. And she has no idea what she has stepped into so this book is amazing i gave it four stars i loved it because like the way it builds up on things and suddenly reveals things i i just i just love it i loved pip i loved ravi ravi is sal singh's younger brother who also helps her to solve the case and there is some chemistry going on i love them and i think he's the most green flag male character i have ever read about in any of the books is like one of the green flags and it's so good like their chemistry is so good the way he helps her and this book is written in a lot of other formats as well i have talked about it in a clip that love this book four stars highly recommend it Next, let's go about this book, the second book in the series, which is Good Girl and Bad Blood. This book is later to these events, like not a lot later. In this book, a very close person to Pip goes missing. And uh, uh, she has like come away from this investigation thing because last day when she dug into it she found things about people that she didn't want to and she heard people that were like really close to her that's why she went to police and told them that you investigate i i will not and find this person who goes who has gone missing but police thinks that this is not a, per, a missing case at all this person has a habit of uh, going away and coming in few days so she, he probably will turn up but Pip and that person's family member does not believe so. They think there's something different about this time. So they insist Pip to again start investigating. She uh, is reluctant but she does because she obviously is a nice person and loves that person as well who has gone mis missing. And she starts looking up for him. This book. This book. I give it five stars. I gave it five stars. I have cried in the ending and I cannot recommend it to you enough. Just just go for the series. I just really want to read the third book now. And I don't have it with me. So I either I'll get it or I will read it on ebook because I'm like not this book. Oh my god. It played with my emotions. I loved every character except for the evil ones and like the ending is really touching i cried i cried a lot my mom caught me crying literally so yeah yeah this is a five star <laughs> okay the next book is nan sarshle by ellie marnie that i was reading on my phone it is written like really recently but the book is set in 1982 and we are talking about Two teenagers who have been made into a team to talk to serial killers, teenage serial killers, uh, so that they could be breakthroughs in uh, cases, that, so that they could interview the teenage serial killers and get information from them and could, like, FBI could study what actually goes in, on in their mind, like, get into their mindset, because, like, these teenage serial killers... Uh, cramp up and they don't talk to officials so they thought that they should make a team of two teenagers who have in some way some relation to a serial killer as in our girl emma is a sole survivor of a very notorious serial killer just two years ago and our guy travis has lost a family member to a serial killer so anyway they're related to serial killings 
so they thought that these two people are perfect for making a team that will lead them to a breakthrough of cases but somehow these two get get tangled in a current case that is currently going on serial killer is on large and is killing teenagers so they want to catch him and there is a really dangerous teenage serial killer in their captivity that they try to interview and get information from him because they believe that this serial killer has some kind of connection with the serial killer that is out right now and doing stuff so this is the whole thing adrenaline rush on another level the way the book has been written i thought it would be boring but no a thriller has to be something that starts from page one you don't have to you know make a build up for page 100 and then start writing no don't do that just start from the page one so that it grips you people read thrillers because they want something gripping but uh, yeah and i found it it was amazing it has a sequel as well some shall break i am considering reading it because i loved the first book and serial killer movies and books big thumbs up so uh in total my reading experience was really good really good because i read three books and all of them were above four stars four stars or five stars so so it was a really good experience i loved reading i recommend all the three books to all of you people hype is real guys the hype is real this book's actually good go for it i hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and oh my god i'm so disabled um yeah bye